Hello, my name is Megan Gray, and so welcome to Scarlet to Black's November topic, which is student debt. And so in this month, it's going to be broken up into four sections, which is building credit and debit, loan types, paying off loans, and credit cards. The first part will be building credit or debit. And so what's the difference between credit or debit? So credit gives the spender funds that are not their own, given the legal binding agreement that the spender will repay the amount owed plus interest, while debit, on the other hand, gives spenders the ability to spend directly from their own bank account. And so ways to build a debit account as a student. It's always good to have funds on standby for typical and random expenses that might pop up. And ways to build a debit account include putting a small amount aside after each payment period of a, from a job, setting up a budget so current funds are not depleted for unnecessary purchases, and leaving savings untouched except for necessary purchases. And so some things to remember about credit is that without established credit, acquiring a loan, credit card, or housing can be very difficult, and credit should not be thought of as free money. This can lead to an inability to pay back borrowed funds, and this can escalate very quickly. Credit also takes time to build, and if you decide to apply for a credit card, take the time to find the best one for you and your lifestyle, and building your credit will allow you to secure better rates. And so some ways to build credit as a college student. The first option is to apply for a secured credit card. What it is, is that it's backed up by a cash deposit you make up front, and you use it as a normal credit card. You buy things, you make a payment on or before the due date, and you, but you incur interest if you don't pay your balance in full. You'll receive your deposit back when you close the account, and it's meant to build credit and eventually migrate to an unsecured credit card. Choose a secured card with a low annual fee and that reports to all three credit bureaus, Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion to build a comprehensive credit history. Another way is to become an authorized user on a credit card. And so a willing credit card user can add you as an authorized user on their own card. But make sure the credit issuer reports to authorized user activity to credit bureaus or it will have no effect on your credit. If they do, the card's payment history is added to your credit history. This can also reduce the time it takes to generate a FICO score. And you don't have to use the credit to benefit from their card history. But if you do go this route, make sure you are confident in the primary user's repayment history. Another note just on credit reports is that you are entitled by law to check your credit once a year for free. Only one website is authorized to fulfill the free annual credit report, which is annualcreditreport.com. During the pandemic, however, the top three credit bureaus have allowed access to free weekly online credit reports. Something else to keep in mind is that each of the following three credit bureaus then have their own additional ways to secure a free credit report that can be found on each of their websites, which are Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion. And that's all for the first section of building credit and debit. The next section will go over. Okay.